Hello everyone, this is Equinox Kills here today. I'm going to be giving you a little tutorial on how to make what I've decided to call a Tron Ball in Cinema 4D. Um, if you saw my last video about my new channel and being sorry about not uploading in a long time, and uh, I even made this video a day late, and I'm sorry about that too, but uh, I've decided I'm going to be uploading every Sunday. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to be late anymore on my uploads or anything. Um, and you can leave comments and... Uh, suggestions on what I should do in the next video if you want to see any more tutorials after this one so let's get into it alright first you want to click on this thing that looks like a light with arrows coming off drag and go to the floor add a floor then go to the cube add a sphere you want to drop your sphere to the floor if you have the plug-in you can just use that but it's really not that hard just to go into there and do that so after that you can just like position it wherever you want it to be whatever and after that uh, you want to make the sphere edible by clicking on it and then clicking C on your keyboard going over here and clicking this thing with just the orange square and the three little windows click that or I already had it selected right here to the ring selection alright then but to get to the ring selection you go to selection then go to ring selection after that you just click whatever you want to make uh, glow on the ball you have to hold shift if you're clicking more than one so just go ahead and do that now to get the bottom one it's really not that hard you don't have to delete the floor or anything you can still see it if you just view from the very bottom of the floor you can see I've just selected it make sure you hold shift while you're doing all this or else it'll just here I'll just go ahead and show you what it'll do it'll make it to where you only select one so just go ahead and go back and uh, here I'll just undo it alright so after that you wanna create your materials you just double click down here on this bar and uh, double click on your first material take off the color and the specular add an illuminance double or you can just click on that uh, you can do whatever color you want I'm gonna do a, like a cyan color for this video you wanna put your brightness up to 200 or 300 alright now for your second material you wanna add a or you can keep the color and the specular it doesn't matter um, on the color you wanna bring it down to a very dark gray almost black then go to reflection and just put go down to Fresnel alright now after that you drag your Fresnel color over to the sphere then drag your uh, blue or whatever you're gonna use onto the little lines it'll take all of them if you just drag them onto one then uh, that's pretty much it after that you can just position the ball however you want it doesn't matter you can twist it or you can do whatever you want to it really so alright after that you can uh, you're gonna need to go to your render settings mine are already set up but I'll go ahead and show you anyways go to output click this drop down bar and click HDV HT or HDTV 720 29.97 click that then go to save go to the format you're gonna to wanna to go to PNG after that you go to effect and add a global illumination you have to add a global illumination or it will not turn out right so after that if you wanna make sure it works you can just click this little uh, whatever those people use in the commercials and movies <laughs> and uh, it'll take just a little bit to render and that's gonna be your glowing ball you, you can make it look as nice as you want you can animate these do whatever you want um, after that if you want to finish the render and put it on your desktop whatever you want to do hit shift and then R and it will render out the whole thing for you it might take a little bit just because it's a complex picture alright then whenever that's done you can go to file save as 
press OK because you're already going to have that set to PNG. Then you can save it to whatever you want. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial that I brought for you guys today. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want some more tutorials. I'll have some mini edits and whatnot uploaded soon. Uh, I just got Vegas Pro 11 and I'm working on getting After Effects, so be expecting some montages and stuff like that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you guys later.